my god i'm so excited this is pd day i'm gonna do it again okay i am so excited we are going to do a peritoneal dialysis transfer set change this is done every six months and when needed um when would we need it if there's like a hole in the catheter any other reason fibrin oh fibrin if the if the catheter gets clotted so this is going to be a how to do a transfer set change Stay tuned. All right, everybody, these are all the supplies you're gonna need for a transfer set change. You're gonna need a transfer set. That's in a sterile, everything's sterile. This is a sterile procedure, so it's very exciting. Cap, sterile gloves, sterile drape, and then I usually use two sets of sterile gloves and betadine and gauze. All right, let's do the transfer set change. So this, this is a dummy tummy. So this is where the catheter comes out, out of the stomach. So it's, we're due for our six month change. So let's, let's take care of it. Oh, Lindsay, don't forget to clean your hands. I should also wear a mask, huh? I'm gonna wear a mask. You need to wear a mask during this. First, I'm gonna put the sterile drape under the dialysis catheter. Let's just open it. Let's see how I do with the sterile technique opening the drape. Wow, I'm not doing too bad. Just like nursing school all over again. All right, and then I kind of, you know, you talk to your patient while they're doing this, and if, if they're anything like me, they are hand talkers. So we can drop it on the drape, and then we want to not touch the drape. So I'm going to tell the wonderful dialysis, peritoneal dialysis patient not to touch the drape, but like we can talk and be like, oh, how was your weekend? Oh my gosh, tell me about, tell me everything. Now I'm gonna get my sterile field ready. And I wanna make sure that this is clean. Like, look at it, I kind of, I'm gonna wipe this down nice and clean. Check, two minute dry time, time flies. Now let's open the sterile drape. And now I'm gonna drop everything onto my sterile field. Like this is, I mean, this is so much fun. I feel like I really enjoy. What else do I have? This is the transfer set change. It looks like this. So this part is open and needs to stay sterile. And then this is where our betadine cap goes. So the transfer set, it comes like this. It is unclamped. There's no cap here and there's no cap here. So it's important to maintain, stir, maintain things sterile. So I'm gonna drop it on here. Beautiful, let's see, wow. More gloss. Oh, uh, Yeah. Check expiration date. Mm, very good. I never get to do betadine, and this is fun. You just really get it all. You know, more is more with this one. Let me clean my hands again, because, you know, we're, we work in dialysis, so we feel like we need to do it after everything. Who wants to watch me Don Gloves? Don Gloves or Doc Gloves? Don gloves, soft gloves, garbage. All right, I'll go this way. See, sterile, sterile, my hands are clean and now I'm just gonna open it. Ooh la la, wow. Okay, now you guys need to be my sterility watchers. Okay, this inside part is gonna touch the inside of my hand, see? inside part. So I can touch this part and now I get to put my hand in. Oh, I got it. Now this is still sterile. So now I get to put my hand, hand in here like that, how it's like folded over. And then do you remember this from nursing school? It's all about, we need to make sure we keep our thumb out. Oh no, my, my finger didn't get in there. But guess what? Everything here is sterile. So now I get to just like touch it. Oh, sterile hands, sterile hands. Okay, now we get to clean. So now I want to, this is where we are going to separate it. And I want to make sure that's clean. Very sterile. We want to make sure our patients do not get peritonitis. So with my sterile hands, I got my sterile gauze. And now I'm just going to clean it. You just let this sit on there or do you just soak I usually, it so make sure you clean like up and down a couple inches and then i usually put that gauze underneath the connection and then even dump some more betadine on so 
on cleaning up and down. Everything clean. No peritonitis here. So now for fun and good practice, I'm just going to pour more betadine on. So now, how long do we let betadine dry for? Five minutes. So we are gonna let that dry for five minutes. So now this is where we can talk to our patients. We have an eye on the clock. I don't know, what can we talk about? What'd you eat for dinner? How has dialysis been going? Any problems? How's your effluent been? How's shortness of breath? You can do any kind of more assessment and depth assessment while you're waiting that five minutes. Now, and during that five minutes, I took off these gloves because they're full of betadine. And then I'm gonna put on fresh gloves. So now I got sterile gloves. I can go back in my sterile field. Here this is. Sterile, what are we missing? A cap. I'm gonna put a cap on. And guess what? That's on my sterile field too. Everything's sterile. Everything's sterile, so I can like touch everything I want. Clamped. All right, so I grabbed my last betadine gauze and my sterile thing. There's no cap on here. No cap. Everybody's wearing a mask, everybody's sterile. The other thing that I did is, can you guys see this clamp? I'm just going to touch it. This is not a real patient. I'm going to clamp in between the patient and the connector because once I disconnect, there's going to be air that can go in there. So I've got a clamp there. And if I forget to put the clamp on, I'll just ask the patient to clamp it if I've already got like sterile gloves because peritoneal dialysis patients are so good at, um, how would you say it, being autonomous and being self-sufficient and making sure that they're taking care of their catheter site. They really like to be involved. So there's the transfer set change. This is the cap. Beta dine on here is just fine. So this is unclamped. It twists on and off. Twist, 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 twist. That's it. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. I am grateful. Anything to add? Nope. Great job. Thank you.